the same house. So I'm so saying, wait, you're going to tell me you're going to lock yourself downstairs. This is what I'm saying. saying. This is what I'm telling you. This is what I'm telling you. Give me five. <laughs> Another week, another topic. <laughs> another week, another topic. Um, this week I thought we could discuss another thing I saw on TikTok. <laughs> love, 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 love. Um, another thing I saw on TikTok, and it's this babe. Have you guys? I sent the link to you guys. Have you guys been seeing this babe on your? She comes up on my for you. What is her? What's her account? What's her account name? What's her I account name? I ain't got a clue. I ain't got a clue. Well, the same be, eyeshadow. Like she'd be same. doing the same eyeshadow, and she'd be like, ruh, 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 ruh. Yeah, and yeah. she always talks so fast. Yeah, she talks really quick. And I'm just like, hold let on. Let me get her accent for people, so people know uh, who's actually really talking about. Wanna... So people know who they're talking oh, about. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm trying to get the link. Um, but yeah, anyway, so she's been coming up whilst Beatrice searches for her name. She's been coming up on my explore page a lot, and she talks about predominantly relationships, to be honest. Yeah. And mm-hmm. why she doesn't accept certain. Behaviors and traits and kinikov kinikov from certain yeah, men. Yeah, so it's just a, it's um, maybe both styles. And literally on her bio, she says she's an internet hype woman and she gives unsolicited dating tips. <laughs> I love how she said unsolicited. She knows. <laughs> she knows. Um, some of them are like really interesting to be honest. Yeah, and, like, no, I, I, I agree with, especially when she breaks it down. I do agree with a lot of what she says, but mm. like, yeah. Anyway, I, not everything, but mm. whatever. This time, I thought we could discuss something that she brought up. And she was like talking about why she would never get back with a guy who asked to go on a break. And an example that she gave was a guy who was dating a girl, and then he went to university to do an MBA, so maybe just his master's program. Mm. So I don't know how long they were dating for before, but they were dating anyway. Sha, he went went across country, across state, or whatever, to um, do his MBA. And whilst he was doing his MBA, he basically slept with like she said half of the women (gasps) on his course Uh um and then once he was done doing all of that came back home and he was like oh actually like the babe i was dating before like she was nice hang on i think that's the one for me you know (laughs) and then anyway they got married and they have a kid together and she was just like she doesn't know if they're like happily married and stuff because Mm. the guy was her ex's friend and she doesn't speak to her ex anymore but she said she could never go on a break with somebody and then when he's ready and he's decided like, okay, now I'm ready to settle down, mm. come back and find her. He was like, she was like, he will not be finding me. Mm. Um, and I thought that was a really interesting thing because I know break, I don't even know, we might need to even define what that is, mm-hmm. what is allowed in, that's probably, that's in the context the of the break. The like what is the purpose of breaks? Mm. Um, all those kind of things. Mm. And whether you guys agree mm. that a man cannot go on a break and then come back and find you, marry you, and impregnate you. That'd be so violent. As I know. Sure that's what he did. As a God <laughs> damn. Um, I don't even know where to start. I think let's start with um, what is a break. What What do I define to be a yeah. break? Right. And it's perfect. And this is the the thing that I find problematic with it is that it's solely dependent on the two people that are involved in the relationship. They set the terms and conditions for the break and obviously it's their situation that that actually starts the break in the first place that's what's problematic about it no 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 as in like it's hard to just define because okay, of that, okay. because of that um so when i'm trying to give a definition i find it difficult because it just depends on the couple that is involved but my thing is one of the things about breaks that i don't i don't really understand is w- you know what it's tricky because like i said there's so many different reasons why people go on a break but let's say for example that situation where he's gone away like for like he's gone away like you know how sometimes distance people use distance as a reason to go on a break because you know they're not going to be around the person they typically want to you know be next to the person that they're dating etc now that they're not they need somebody else to satisfy that need essentially Mm. for me i just think that's problematic because something like that it's something that can easily come up later on down the line once you're either married or whatever later stage of commitment you guys make and is your situ- what are you going to do then if you think you can survive then like if basically if you feel like you need 
of a break now, what's going to stop you from not needing a break later on down the line? There's just basically certain patterns that I just think, look, if it's something that you can't even do right now, later on down the line, when it becomes a bit of a bigger situation, it's a bigger problem to, you know, to handle, what are you going to do? Especially when it's in the context of marriage. Like, are people now saying that breaks can apply to marriage? Mm. I don't think that exists. In my opinion, that's a divorce. I saw but that one them, too. I saw that one as well. Boy. But, um, within marriage. I think it really depends on what you define <clears throat> a break to be. Mm. A break sometimes in my head means I just need some space. Like, I need, like, for me, I just need, mm. I need to not speak to you for, like, a week. Yeah. Like, I, like as hard as that may be, but yeah. I just need some space. Okay, like, that's a question. And I don't... When you say space, is it a space to think about whether I want to continue with this? Or is it a break of, like, this, whatever, maybe we're in a heated argument, I know that for a fact I'm coming back to you, but I just need a bit of distance think, right now I to think, process what's going on. I think that um, the second point where you said it's an argument, I I don't think that that is. I don't think I don't think that once you have an argument, you're now saying, "Oh, we need to go on a break." I don't yeah. think that that is. I think when you're at a point where you where you're saying to the person. I need a break. Sometimes you could have had the argument two weeks ago. You're like, you've been thinking about it. You can't, I don't think that a break can just come out of, no, it's like something that you've been thinking about Mm. for a while. And whether it's like, I need a break just to clear my head to really think that this is what I want. And I know they have that saying, you know, the, is it separation makes the heart grow fonder? Mm. I don't know what the distance makes the heart grow fonder. Mm. Sometimes you need that period of not like, not having the person around mm. for uh, not months and months yeah, of end, yeah. but for a small period of time to really sit down and evaluate whether you can go on without the person or whether mm. you still need the like you feel like you need the person in your life. And yeah. sometimes the breaks make you, um, yeah, make you think about that. Can also make you think about what you're lacking. Like what maybe maybe it can be a break for yourself to be like okay clearly there's something wrong like what what am i doing like it's just a, i think it's a, a kind of state of reflection in my mm. opinion that's mm. what i think a break is and i don't think a break is that oh me and the person are not together mm. i don't think that that is so does the same level of commitment that is required in a relationship is that also required when you're on a break yeah because i'm is not, I'm not on ex- a break is that what you would expect from your yeah i'm not on a break from the relationship i'm just on a break from so every day you- everyday relationship duties mm. <laughs> i'm not in this because i feel like once because because when you say that i'm going on a break when you're on work and you go for your laundry break you're coming back mm. Mm. so for me it's like it's not that they fired you from your job okay. yeah but, but you don't it, always come back from a break though, yeah. in a relationship yeah no but what i'm saying but what i'm trying to say is that you but you, have, is that the only type of break that seems that makes for sense? For me, that's the only type of break that ma- that makes sense. Like okay. you can come back from the break, have the conversation, and be like, "We're done." I don't think that this mm. is not saying that the time that you said that you needed a break that that was the time that you said, "Oh, we're broken up." That's mm. it. We're still together, but it's like it's, you say it. For, from when the time that I officially say that, okay, I don't think that yeah, this relationship is working. This is the cl- like this mm. is the closing statement. Like this is mm. the cl- like. For me, a break isn't go and do, go and you know mm. do, explore. Yeah. explore and do whatever you yeah. want to do because yeah. that's not that's that's for me that's not my idea of a break. The reason for, for the reason that you might need a break in a relationship is that you just need to take a step back mm. and look like, is this what I want? What am I lacking? What is the other person mm. lacking? Mm. Okay, what do I need to like? If we're coming back together, these are the things that I think that need to happen, and. If you come back and then you've had that conversation and you guys are still not on the same page, yeah, then clearly yeah. that can that's not it. Yeah, for me, I just don't feel like a break is just you're basically saying that the re- we're done with the relationship and then when you're finished with the break, you're coming back. The, the, I don't, I don't really, I don't really understand that. <laughs> yeah. I don't understand that one. Mm, so no. for me, a break is stepping back. Taking a look, mm. evaluating whether you want this or you don't, you mm. do or you don't want this, and mm. then when you finish your break, you come back 
mm. and see whether you want to do and then then that's it for me a break is not going to do x y and z with mm. us with other people sorry mm. i don't that's not a break that's you broken up you've realized what then you're now going nah, yeah that's, 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 that's what about you sharon me. what do you think mm. i don't really know like how i feel about this whole break thing i think like listening to what you said i do think actually that could I, work. I, I, I wouldn't count he- that as break I would but in my head break. i'm just like you don't have to be broken up to do that yeah agreed. you could just in your relationship be like Oh, sorry. Obviously, you're not broken up in that in that no, case, that's right. but, that's but you're on a break. I don't think you need to be on a break to necessarily do that. I think you could just be like, I think we, the two of us need some time, like, apart, away from relationship duties, to just reflect on yeah. what has been happening. And, yeah. and I think keep, like, like a, a time when that might be necessary, if, if someone has done something, like, stepped out on the relationship or something, of course, the other person is going to need some time to reflect on whether or not they, they still want to be with you. Yeah. But I wouldn't necessarily say that they're on a break. Me either. I would just say that you're reflecting. Yeah. And um, I don't know. I think the whole, like, if you are to go on a break, I think terms have to be set beforehand. Yeah. Yeah. It can't just be like, let's go on a break. Okay, let's go on a break. Because if the other person is like, okay, well, we're on a break and now I'm free to do other stuff. In my yeah. head, you're cheating on me. Like, yeah. do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. that's basic. That's it then. Yeah. Um, I was going to say, sorry. You know, Real Housewives of Atlanta? Yeah. Um, oh, what is her name? That's not Candy, but the other singer. Sh- sh- that- Shamari. Shamari. Now, do you remember? She basically was married to her husband and then they went into an open Open relationship right and the reason why is that she basically was exploring her sexuality and Mm -hmm. she was like i got exploring your sexuality because let me explain marriage he was a lot older he was a lot older she was a lot younger when they met and they got married right Mm -hmm. and they were doing their thing etc and she basically was like wow like i'm quite i'm still very very young he's obviously a lot older i think there's like i think there's a 20 age gap but there's a decent amount right and she's just like um i when i look at women like i don't know why but i feel like a little bit of something and i don't know what it is and it's just really like bothering me that i never got to see whether that was something that was a part of me or not so long story short i know it is a, it is very mad but obviously they set the terms or whatever but with their one they set the terms to be um that she can explore with other women mm-hmm. only of course wow why would you go to when you're explaining your sexuality yeah i know i know i know but obviously they were open so he could do whatever he oh wanted he could do the same well. thing he could not with men with no obviously with women, women. Yeah. yeah he's not exploring yeah. sexuality yeah, yeah exactly um and then they'll then basically they realize i don't know how long so the were. break was for who's it wasn't a break. It wasn't a break. It was like they were still married were still and married. they were still very yeah. much in love with each other. Yeah, but, but they just they needed another aspect. That... Which is, I know, again, which is what I was going to say. That's another Why like, do you thing. have that face? But it's like a I don't get marriage, it. But you don't weird. get what? I don't get it. You're very much in love with your husband. Why but do you you're need to saying, explore yeah, because if you you're saying like women that as well? If you find out that you like women... Sexually. Okay, but if you find out that you like women, then what Yeah, but she doesn't know whether it's... She doesn't... She doesn't... She doesn't... She doesn't know, right? No, she. I've always thought that she said that she was like yeah. A bit she's bi- always curious. been a bit bi curious, but, but she said that she just wanted something. She wanted to act on that bi curiousness, and then okay. she, and she opened but up her marriage. My question is, and so when you find the answer to that, no, but the thing that they realized happens? that it was wrong. No, she said that it was the wrong thing to do. Okay, yeah, I agree. With I don't. Did she say it was yeah. the wrong thing? No, to she do. basically said that she that it wasn't. It wasn't for it her. wasn't for them, and she it wasn't regrets. For them. She said that it didn't make their marriage better, and she regrets going. My to whole do thing that. is like. I don't even mind that she's got, like, obviously, mm. I mean, she didn't know me. I don't even know her. I just found mm. out about her five seconds ago. But my whole thing is, like, I would be thinking, okay, cool. And then once I found the answer to that question, then what changes? Because if you find out that you're bi and you like women as well, but you're still very much in love with your husband and mm. you're going back to your husband anyway, yeah. as in the end result the is that you will be, always you... end up with your husband, what changes in your you're relationship? Just, you're in an open marriage, like, you're fully in an open marriage. And, like, it's what, not even... forever then? Yeah. Oh, Okay. Some people do that. Some people literally live like that. And this is what I'm saying. That is, that, is that what their end goal was no, to be? No, the, no, the end goal was just for her, no one to, ever her wrote, to just find out. No, I don't even think it was about her finding out. I think she always knew that she was attracted to yeah. women. But she just wanted to explore that side of, of, yeah. of it. And the only re- how, the only way, the only way you could do that is to open and up she was your marriage. Like, she was quite unha- she, not that she was unhappy, but she basically said that like she just felt like she just needed... Like, they were very young, she was very young, blah, blah, blah. But anyway, that one's even just another stretch. Another example that I wanted to give was actually on this podcast called Two Cents Podcast. 
um and they did like a recent joint club one with sd live and basically they were just talking about like relationships and all that stuff and actually one of the girls was talking about how she went on a break in her relationship and you know the the question that you're asking was obviously that she said that she wouldn't recommend a girl getting with a guy who initiated the break right mm -hmm. in this situation she was the one that initiated the break and she initiated the break because she just felt like she wasn't sure i don't know i can't remember the exact reasons but she just felt like she was a little bit unhappy and she needed some time to think about whether it's actually like she's meant to be with him or whether you know what out there is better and long story short she said that with them they started their relationship very young like maybe like secondary early secondary school and now they've gone through uni all that stuff and it's just like your mind's just like is, am i just in this relationship because, because of, of history mm -hmm. or am i really liking this person so she was like look i want to just i think we need a break for me to just get my mind mm -hmm. together see what my mind is at am i in this for you kind of situation which was also funny because when she started to reveal a bit more they actually revealed and she's a black woman she actually ended up revealing that her partner was white which i think added a bit of color to it and it also <laughs> it added a bit of color no it added a bit of color <laughs> also oh stop it and it also added a bit of light to it because she basically mentioned that he wasn't doing anything so be he was certain this was the person he wanted to be with right he was not given in this break he wasn't hanging out with any other woman he didn't link i didn't he didn't do, he didn't do anything with any other woman it was only her looking at guys and talking to guys mm. and stuff like that which again adds a bit of color oh okay you know i personally feel like as a black person they would have taken that advantage but anyways you know <laughs> each their own um but in that black men are misunderstood <laughs> bro, whatever. i don't give a hell. i'm joking i agree with you boy um but in that situation i was like i was just, I was just like I, I kind of understand why. Did they why. get back together? Sorry, I'm they did get back together. Okay, yeah, yeah. I sh they would have always. They got back together, yeah. But I don't know whether they are together now. But okay. I, yeah. Um. But my th my thing is that I do believe that there is something different about a woman initiating a break 100%. than a man. I don't know what it is, but just the idea of a man saying I need a break from this Crap. to explore other something else mm. for me is just. A lot more scary than a woman saying, "Hey, I need to explore something else." I don't know why. Do I know you guys why agree? it is. A hundred percent, I agree. I can't explain it in words, but men just will take the advantage and sleep around. Yeah. And I feel like um, women probably would be more like emotionally the, based. Yes. Yeah. They would be way more like concerned about the man's feelings and like if they were to eventually like sleep with somebody else it would like there would be a level of certainty there yeah. whereas i honestly feel like any any girl, person shoot me but like mm. black black men mm. i'm sorry i'm coming for you mm. like i genuinely feel like they, they would. would take advantage and mm. I, I feel like even in a scenario where you've even set the terms and conditions for the break i feel like you should even still be wary <laughs> yeah no <laughs> literally, you know what I mean? literally i just think that breaks in general are something that i personally i'm hoping Thing, hoping that I will not need to do because I just think it just creates a lot of doubt a lot mm -hmm. of uncertainty mm -hmm. and I just think a lot of the things that people are saying that they need time to do just like you mentioned I feel like they can really be done in a, a relationship. relationship and also I feel like a lot of these things are things that they're coming up now and most likely they will They'll come, come in another again. form again later on down the line and as a but couple you have to navigate it together but then I just think it just boils down to the fact is what do you define as a break yeah mm. because which is why i asked you guys that yeah first. Yeah, yeah because with that with what you've said yeah it kind of goes with what i say what my definition of a break is like yeah. obviously you're probably gonna face maybe the not the same problem but maybe mm. something like mm. that problem again where you might need space again so it's kind of like mm. it just really yeah. is down to the individual what do you yeah. define as a break like yeah Sometimes a break can even just be one night. So I just need this night for please just go. <laughs> like, do you understand? So yeah. it's kind of like it's kind yeah. of like I know you got this is not really comparable, but like I feel like it's kind of like exploring where you want to take your career whilst you're still working at a job. Yeah. Like 
ultimately you, still need to commit you do to not that. need to quit your job yeah. now yeah. to discover what it is that you want to do next even in the context of your job yeah you can still be exploring whether or not like that where you are currently is exactly where you want to be and how you'd want to progress in that field or if you needed to move like i know it's not comparable and stuff mm -hmm. but like i genuinely do feel like the like beatrice says and i 100 percent agree yeah. like these are questions that are going to come up if that's the question that you're trying to answer, what yeah. Tammy has explained, yeah. Yeah. those are kind of questions you're going to be having to answer honestly over often. over again. Yeah, Com you're going to have to be recommitting to this person on a regular basis. Absolutely. So if you take a break for every time you need to be sure, you're going to yeah. be on a break for half of the year. Absolutely. Really and Absolutely. And I think that that's something that people need to get comfortable. And I think that's the misconception about relationships. I feel like people feel like relationships are because of the way it is viewed externally you just think it has to be perfect like all the time mm -hmm. you or know? you have to be sure you have to be sure and certain that you want this a hundred percent all the time i get that the i that's the ideal but in reality like sharon mentioned and we always talk about it like being in a relationship being committed is actually a decision that you have to make constantly right mm. and sometimes some you know you might have an argument where it's like i actually doubt like i didn't see the side of you like what the heck you do you still need to process that new side understand whether there's something you still want to commit to mm. and then decide to make that commitment so like i just feel like because of the way that nature, the natures of relationships are in general, and it's just like friendships, like you have to constantly make that decision. So it's like, in my opinion, it's not warranted to like step away and say like we need a break because I just feel like you're always gonna be at a point where someone in the relationship, whether it's you, whether it's your partner, you'll be like, ah, I'm not really feeling you today. I can't lie to you. And if this were to continue, I don't think I'll really be happy for the rest of this relationship. Mm -hmm. But you don't know. Do you know what I mean like people? Things just aren't always ideal, um, but that's something that, yeah, I think is important mm. to remember. What was you going to say? I was going to ask in terms of, like, certainty and stuff, because we mm. had this conversation recently. Yeah. Like, at what point... Okay, so before you got get into, like, a relationship and stuff, would you... Okay, actually, I've got a couple of questions. Do you think you need to love the person before you get into a relationship? Love? Mm -hmm. In mm. love? Nope. Love. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait. As in... Do you guys... Okay, actually, let's go back. Do you guys consider loving someone and being in love as two different things? Yeah. yeah. Do you? Okay, okay. So love is what I'm saying, not in I love. I think you would need to love the person. Before you got into a relationship? Yeah. yeah. You don't agree? No, no you do I mean, agree. Like, you have to have love for the person. Absolutely. Do you think having love for someone and loving them is the same? Have, say it again? Having love for somebody yeah. and loving them, is that the same thing? Yeah, because it, yeah. Mm, kind of, but it's like, um, because expressed I love them, yeah, expressed differently. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, cool. That was my first question. Mm. And then, I don't know if this is even a question you can really answer, but at what point, like, for you guys, I guess, do you feel like you got to, okay, well, tell me you're in a relationship currently, but like just in terms of like past experiences, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. Did you get to a point in your relationship where you were like, okay, yeah, this is actually like the person I would love to be with forever. Obviously nobody knows the future, we don't know. Mm -hmm. But based on the information I have currently, mm -hmm. like this is the person I want to be with forever. Or alternatively, like, okay, based on the information I have currently, I don't think I can be with this person forever. I don't get what your question is though. At what point in your relationship were you at that crossroad where it's like, yes, I want to be with this person forever. No, I don't think I can be with this person forever. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Mm, no wait so oh, the crossroad of whether i no i don't want to be with this person forever and yes I want to well be i'm saying forever. crossroad just because obviously tammy's not currently in yeah but doesn't mean that she didn't see it to be that yeah but she's not in it anymore so she obviously made the decision that she didn't want to be with the person does that not make yeah, sense yeah but that's just dependent on when of, of what you guys are going through right that's what i'm saying at what point did you like for you what point did you get to a point in your relationship where you yeah. were like, this is who I would want to be with forever? Or is that, or have you not even like made that decision yet? No, I absolutely have. Yeah, exactly, which is why I'm asking you. Yeah, but I think it's, it's, I think, I think it's, it's, it's very like much great, based on experience. I think, I think, I think there's like an, I don't really know how to answer the question because when you're like at the highs of like, if your mm. your relationship is going well, like you always say like, oh, like, I'm going to be spending yeah. this is how I want to be the rest of my mm. life and then there's points in the way when I'm going to fall back with you like mm -hmm. I need I'm to, out of here I'm out of, like, but yeah. then you can turn around the next day or I want to be yeah. like and I think that when you now go through like wait for, so you're like, saying a breakup, 
God. So you're saying in the scenario that you just gave mm. that it actually fluctuates between wanting to be and not wanting to be. Yeah. See, for me, it's different. Yeah. So for me, like I think when I made okay, if you actually think about it, if I'm asking you a question directly, I made that decision actually at the lowest point. So at the lowest point of yeah. my relationship, so, yeah. I made the decision that actually, not obviously, it can still get lower. <laughs> it absolutely still can get lower. But one of the things I always say, and I feel like this is just general, and obviously, I'm not trying to preach that. What the hell? I don't know what this person I'm going to marry. I hope so. But we'll see. <laughs> but my thing is, and this is something that I will apply regardless, I will teach you always, is that when you're obviously like at the lowest point, how do you get out of it? Mm-hmm. I went through a and I think I'm very transparent. Like I went through like not a low low, but some people say it's low. It just depends. But it was not the most ideal situation, right? And like in that, we like we navigated a period of like constantly bickering, like picking up things, etc. And it was like because there's just a side to somebody that you see when things are bad, yeah. and it's like you still are able to show love through that. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? Like, and I just feel like seeing that for me was like, you know what? I feel like I can actually go through some deep down, down, down dirty stuff with you. <laughs> and I can trust that throughout that process, you have got my best interest at heart. Mm. And like, we will do our absolute best. No one's going to give up early we will do our best to try to get to a good place because we we see the value in each other. That, for me, is when I made that decision. But, again, I just purely feel like it's based on experiences that you have with that person because you can't be like you're going to be with that person forever but you've you never seen know. you've never but then also you've never seen them in certain lights yeah, and also yeah. you will never know somebody all in all because even yeah, when yeah. you get into marriage you're always taking a bet because people be changing and switching up any moment you know how these niggas are but anyway <laughs> <laughs> my point is though that like you just have to base it on experiences and yeah, it's always sure. going to be an element of uh, faith that you're yeah, applying in the situation yeah that like that's kind of what I was trying to explain yeah. in my question I don't know like obviously I don't know I've been struggling yeah. with English these last couple of episodes <laughs> but um so I wasn't articul- articulating myself particularly well but yeah basically what I was just asking is in terms of like because I think going back to the whole break thing I mm. feel like you approach a break differently when you both have the same goal in yeah. mind yeah like if you know that this is who you want to be with. In yeah. my mind, then a break is no longer necessary yeah. because it's Absolutely. like the two of us are. We're gonna get there we're eventually. Gonna, yeah. so why are we set, not, Why are we putting yeah. a, a, a shaft between the two of us? Yeah. You go and sit over there in that corner. Yeah, yeah I'm gonna sit. But obviously, oh, well, like I said, and also Shan, sorry to interrupt. People have different styles for like res- resolving things because you know yeah. we're having this conversation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some true, people true. are. I'm very much. Let's speak we're, about this right let's, now. We're speaking now. Let's go, boss, 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 this. But some people are like, you know what? Can't lie. I we're need gonna some, need, to, I need some time. I need some time to think about this. That's not a break, though. But yeah, we'll exactly. I, I know. But some, you know, you, you still are able to create mm. a a bit of like a distance mm. in a topic, but still be able to just still do. Because, mm. like for example, you might have an argument about I don't know. I don't really like the way that you uh, speak to me about X. Mm-hmm. Cool. We need, and it's something deep. Mm-hmm. We need to resolve that, but that person needs some time to think about how they're going to react and yeah, answer yeah. and solve mm-hmm. that issue. But it doesn't mean that next morning now, you can't message me, hello, good morning. Mm. <laughs> doesn't mean now that all of a sudden all the duties, that whole like everyday duties, there's a, there's a, that's Sharon said, if you know this is the person you're going to be with, those small everyday duties of just checking in, checking the person's good, mm-hmm. make sure that... And actually, I, I think I'm even, minimum. as I'm even hearing you speak here, I think I'd even start to like consider it to be a red flag if you need a break to yeah for conflict resolution. Because yeah. ultimately, if we're saying that we want to be together, are we not living in the same house? So what are you going to tell me? You're going to lock yourself what, downstairs? This is what I'm saying. saying. This is what I'm trying to say. Give me five. This is what I'm saying about, yeah. you're saying you need this, right, to solve something now, but I'm saying it's always going to come on down the line yeah, in man. situations where you can't be running. But I think what you're... I, well, let me not say the point I was trying to make mm. is that sometimes there doesn't just need to be one conflict. Yeah. If you feel like there's yes. little things here and there where mm. it had, where it's actually making you rethink. Yeah. Whether you want to be, be with, with this the person. person. Okay. Yeah. That is when I'll just be like, I need to take, I need to step away. Yeah. For a bit of time. It's yeah. not oh, 
No, can I you ask slammed, a you slammed, like, you do, like, you okay, slammed. this is a whole, like, this is a whole, this is yeah. a whole, like, a, is yeah. a, it's a, it's not just because of, you've done this one thing, I don't think that we need mm. to be going on a bit because of, you've done one thing, yeah, yeah, no, I no, think no, it's no, no. things where it's like, okay, I hear it. you're it's building like, up, you don't even want to hear from the person you need some time, like, you just, like, you're just trying to feel like, I just need some time, yeah, in that time where you have the break, right, yeah, number one, do you set the time, because, okay, another reason why I'm even asking this, and I've got a couple of things, so please don't cut me off, but, in the time where, when you set the break, are you going to set the time, because I'm not going to lie, if you need a break, I ain't waiting for you every single day, check my phone to see if you're going to come back, and also, secondly, my other point was, what is it that you're, what's the deep thinking that you're going to be doing in that time that you can't do, like, in one evening, for example, and also, like, what are... I guess it's kind of different. You won't be able to necessarily answer this because you don't know what, like, the reason you're on the break is for. Mm-hmm. But, like, what are the points that you'll come up with that you can't come up with, like... No, but you need clarity. You need person? clarity because, you know, sometimes, for example, like, when you're speaking... To, especially when you have so much love for somebody, um, you, like I mentioned, you tend to react based on history and connection. So, mm-hmm. like someone who's been in a relationship with someone for such a long time and they're like, you know what, am I actually fulfilled in this relationship? Like, do you actually case to my knees or am I am I finding myself doing things that I actually what don't do really do, want to yeah. be doing? Mm. But if I'm actually constantly in communication with you 24-7, my mind will just be like, basically not allowing me to actually think properly. Exactly. So I understand that there needs to be some difference, exactly. like some distance on it. Because especially when you're changed, because you, we, we've been talking like, we know we want this person to be in our lives forever. Mm. Whereas this person is now at the a point crossroad? where it's like, I don't actually know no, if you're meant sure. to be yeah. for me yeah. forever, right? So it's completely different, yeah. I agree. Mm. Um, but one thing I was going to say is that even with that, right, Mm -hmm. I'm just trying to think about how you communicate with that person, like, during the break. Yeah, I think that's the part that's just so tricky. I don't think there's any any communication. No, you can't, because I feel like that's when it gets confusing. If you need time to literally be like, I don't even know if this is who I want to be with I yeah. need clarity yeah. clarity only comes if you're actually completely distant and but, my, from that but the question there. that I would ask is why can't you break up as in be being truthful like not saying okay okay to be fair maybe that is actually what a break is but my thing is if you're at the point where it's like you you are really unsure about this relationship is it fair to have somebody waiting on you like that. This what I'm saying. But the there needs to be a I time think, frame. No, yeah. but what I'm saying is, break shouldn't be longer than, in my opinion, in what I Consider call a break. break. Mm. It shouldn't be longer than like a week. Yeah. Once it's People a week, people be doing then, breaks for months, you know. Eh? Yeah, but that's but that's you're that one. Up. That one is break, and you're discovering yourself, and you're mm. you're, you're you're spreading your your lawns. <laughs> I don't know what, to, what word to use. <laughs> but for me, it's just like sometimes you just need to take a step back to really think like, is this what I want? Like you have to think about, and it's not just something that can just be done in one evening because mm. your relationship isn't just one. It's it's not just it spans one. Time. It, it yeah. spans, especially if you've been together for like you've been together like two to three years like yeah. it's been good now you're just going through a period where you're just like i don't even know like, i guess i'm just what the heck is going like, on other, and sometimes you just need it for your own sanity you're like i don't even know yeah I, like every day like i'm not like there's something that's there's missing. something that's missing yeah every day it's i'm difficult. going for the same one i'm still I'm in... just like if you're feeling this no, freaking but, miserable <laughs> no but sometimes it's like but you're saying that but there's times in marriages where people are at their lowest they're miserable are you mm. going to say now because Divorce, you're in no, the, no, 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 exactly. Which is why I'm saying though that the break, like, is it no, actually but what I'm break? saying, no, but what I'm saying is that there's going to be times in your thing where you're miserable, like, mm. you don't know. Forbid, and the thing I is that sometimes, sometimes when you're at the relationship stage, mm. this is the opportunity that you even have to even say, Let me even take a week. When you're, in a, when you're in a marriage, there's mm. no taking a week. Yeah, no, so for me, it's like, I'm even going to use this opportunity now that I have it in this relationship mm. to even save myself from if I have to do this again yeah, when yeah, I'm yeah. 20 I years down it. the line I and I'm married think, and yeah, I'm just like, wife. I don't like... Imagine if I didn't take the time at that yeah, time. Yeah, 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 and yeah, you'd be saying something. But things are... We're not arguing about the fact that you're thinking that way. I think it's just about the fact that is it 
for the other person as yeah, well. Yeah, what does that look like? What does that look like for them? I think that's what the thing is. We're so fixated on the person. Who's I think that, that that's where it comes into communication. Where exactly, you have to be which like, is why. I need, for me, I'll be like, do you know I what? Need I need time. a couple of days. By Friday, yeah. I'll give you a call. On yeah, Friday, yeah, yeah, I'll, yeah. I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll, like, you have to literally yeah. be like, on this Friday, is the thing, I yeah, will like the communication my aspect. Is, but my thing is, and also, I'll, what I'll is, update you yeah. whether I still need more time. Yeah, but my thing is, right, I don't, I don't, <laughs> or not. <laughs> just on a quick one, this, can this situation exist, right? So let's say you're, you're at that crossroads. Can it be a situation where you're like, you know what? Because I know it's not fair to you, or basically I'm, I need a, more than a week because of how deep this is and of how life changing it is i can't make up my mind in a week for me so wait not, hold on that's not a brilliant i think i think wrong, i think, I think, I, I think it's fine to be like i think we should end the relationship now and i'm ending the relationship because i'm just not sure about me and you right now is i feel like if the other person slightly if the other person knows that the reason why you're ending the relationship is because i've done something to you mm. and you just can't deal with it right now mm -hmm. but maybe you said that maybe later on down the line we might find because you know some people like you know what this isn't the time for us right now gonna say, later on down the line if we come back later on the line mm -hmm. we come back later on the line and it's meant to be it's meant to be do you know what i mean mm -hmm. so why can't we just end the relationship now and if you if you're if you find someone else that's better for you that's great great if i don't great do you know what i mean like why are we so scared as like, long as in that scenario it's not a situation of like oh like they're expecting you to still wait around yeah 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 the, because yeah. i feel like that's wrong this is what i mean with the communication it has to be crystal clear yeah like i'm like if you want to have a break for a week have a break for a week. I should hear from you in a week's time. Yeah. Like, I can't be sat on my phone just wa watching my phone. Like, absolutely. I've every seen people every time, every time doing that, and I'm like, hello, we're still waiting for you to send the documents. Literally, every single time it rings, you're thinking, hey, is it him? Is it, it's not is him. It, is it, it's, no, no, it's, no. it's TikTok. Yeah, like, do you know what, what I mean? It? Like, no, I can't be doing all that. I feel yeah. like communicating. And also, in that time, I want to understand as well, like, what are you hoping to achieve in this time? Like, yeah. Are you actually just like in your room crying every day? Yeah. Or are you actually thinking Doing about like, stuff to okay, actually... like what am I actually going to do to make up my mind? Because yeah. otherwise I'm just like, you're going to come back on Friday and be like, I need more time because yeah. you haven't done anything in the last week. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. So I feel like, yeah. No, 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 no. I was going to do a bit of a tangent, but yeah. Go yeah, on. go on. Your no, I was just going to say lastly, um, when you know that podcast, um, what is it? What's that podcast? Oh, a nice and uh, neat nice podcast. And neat. Yeah. Basically, they're talking mm -hmm. about preparing for marriage, right? And basically, you know when guys are like, oh, I need more time to think about. I need more time. I need more time. Yeah, like, I don't want to get married couldn't, soon. Like, I need a long amount of time. And then it's like, at, at some point, it gets, to, it gets to the stage where you're like, what exactly are you doing in yes. this break? Like, what exactly are you doing? Because I used to be like, oh yeah, like I need, I need to get better for my, I need to prepare myself. Yeah, like I need my more, I need more I money. More money. Yeah, like, okay, cool. But <laughs> what exactly are you doing to, to get, get more, more money? money. Like, yeah. Are you actually doing mm -hmm. the steps? So I feel like breaks up. You know what? Everybody, I think the conclusion is, if you want to do break, do break. But make sure you're defining it clearly mm -hmm. and you actually evaluate. And you think this break that we're doing, can it be done together? Mm -hmm. And then, to, and then uh, again. What exactly are you trying to get to? Like, what is the end What's goal? The because, boy, if you're not aligned on that, I just feel like you're just setting yourself up for disaster. Yeah. And I feel like we basically concluded that, guys, I'm sorry, uh, when you guys call the breaks, we aren't really trying to hear for that. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> we only, only women that. are allowed to Only women are allowed to hear for breaks. Unless I'm so sorry. Did you date, in which case, yeah. then you're allowed. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> the person, exactly. Imagine someone just cheated and then they're now asking for are a break. Are you, you okay? You must be sick. Are you, you all right? You better stay back your family home and keep your hands to yourself because you're not coming to me again that is literally the conclusion of today's episode i hope you guys enjoyed it make sure make sure to, to follow like, us comment like subscribe. comment share subscribe make sure you follow us on our socials bts pod underscore on twitter and on instagram and, and yeah TikTok. please i beg break no break just use common sense and that's all